If there's one IEM that's considered the poster child of Harman Toon IEM, it would be the Truth Ear Nova. However, if you were to ask me which IEM did the Harman tuning the best out of all the Harman Toon on the market today, it would still be the old, the myth, the legend, the Moondrop variations. Released all the way back in 2021, it completely took over the sub kilobuck market, being one of the most popular and highly praised IEM alongside the DA Audio Tribrids. And without a shadow of a doubt, it was Moondrop's best IEM at the time, and honestly for a couple more years to come, now that I think about it. But what about today? Does the Moondrop variation still hold up in 2025? Let's find out. Now before we begin, I did review the Moondrop variations all the way back in 2021, and at the time I fell completely in love with it. Harman Tuning has this very contrasty and in a way spacious sound that makes it very exciting to listen to. And the variation executed on this tuning so exceptionally well, which for the time helps it to become one of the best sounding IEM you can get. It just sounded amazing and with very little flaws to nitpick aside from if you just prefer a different tuning entirely. And it remained one of the top contender for a very long time, only rocked slightly by the release of the Sense Top which had a bit less lower mid-range scoop and shout than a variation which some people preferred. Still, the Sense Top at large was viewed more as a variation side grade more so than a variation replacement. Then of course we had a small wave of Harman inspired IEMs at cheaper prices like the Truth Ear X Critical Zero and the QKC X HPB Con, which were really Harman sound on a budget. For the price, they both sounded good. However, they both had issues of their own that makes them sound not nearly as good as the Moondrop variations, but of course, with the price differences of like almost $500, it's entirely forgivable and understandable. Then later we had the Truth Ear Nova and the Simcot Supermix 4, which are the modern day go-to Harman tune IEMs. The Nova being the most true to Harman any IEMs ever achieved, even more so than variations, it has overall less bass than the variations, which makes the Nova sound a bit brighter and vocals a bit more forward. The Supermix 4 follows the Nova's tuning mostly, but it has a bit more treble spiciness for that added excitement and it also has a bit less upper mid-range than the Nova so it sounds just ever so slightly more balanced. Both are great sounding for a price and are very popular in their own way. However, still I feel like they fall a bit short of the Moondrop variations. Short enough to where I say if you were to upgrade from the Nova or Supermix 4 to the Moondrop variations, you're going to notice the improvement. But again, given the price differences, it is entirely understandable. No one is expecting the Nova or Supermix 4 or the Zero for that matter to sound as good as the variations. The point here is that even in the cheaper IEMs or cheaper alternative to variations, after four years or almost four years, there hasn't been an IEM that outright makes the variations obsolete. Out of all the Harman Tune IEMs available on the market today, the variations is still one of the best tuned. The heavy sub bass really helps balance out the potential shoutiness and thinness that plagues most other Harman Tune IEMs. And just to be fair here, it is still a thin signature when compared to modern tunings like JM1, but in the context of Harman IEMs, the variations is still, again, one of the better tuned, one of the better balanced. And the impressive thing here is that it was the first ever IEM to do this tuning faithfully. And after almost four years still remain relevant in not only the Harman conversation, but also in the sub kilobuck conversation. So to answer the question of the beginning of the video, is the Moondrop variation still good in 2025? The answer is a resounding yes. Still hella is. The only thing that's changed for the variation, I would say, is the value proposition. Back then, it was no doubt the market disruptor, one of the best IEM you can grab under a thousand dollar period. Nowadays, though, it does have more competition at and below its price, so it doesn't really hold the same champion-like status it used to hold. However, being an IEM that has lasted almost four years in the IEM market, and I do predict it will get to four years, earns it the well-deserving title of 
legendary I am. Good job, Moondrop. But hey, that's just my one man's opinion on the Moondrop variation. If you want to form your own opinion, why not visit us at The Hangout? We're located at 200 South Bridge Road, Level 1 in Chinatown. Come on down, ask for the variation, and compare it to other Harmon IEMs, and see for yourself if you agree with me. However, if you're not fortunate enough to be in Singapore, but you feel like the variation is the IEM for you, why not consider buying from us at hangout.audio or online retail store. We ship globally and for free on orders over $30. And with all that being said, remember friends, if it's not on the list, it doesn't exist. See you next week.